United Nations Development Programme, or UNDP, is still looking to raise more funding from the international community to support unexploded ordnance or UXO clearance, victim assistance and risk education in Laos. According to UN Resident Coordinator Ming Pham, Laos is one of the most heavily UXO affected countries in the world. Speaking at the gathering to mark the occasion of International Day of Mine Awareness and Assistance in Mine Action, UN Resident Coordinator Min Pham said, We always bring the impact of UXO in Laos to discuss at international meetings to raise funds for Laos. To sign both the men. He said last year, the total funding for UXO clearance activities that Laos received from international donors was over 41 million US dollars. In 2010, Laos received only 19 million US dollars in financial support. In both 2011 and 2012, it was around 30 million US dollars. Join us. The fourth International Day of Mine Awareness was a day for remembering the innocent victims of unexploded weapons and reaffirming a strong commitment to a world free from the threat of mines and other remnants of war. The day is not only marked in Laos but in many other countries around the world as the problem of mines and UXO is a global one. This year, the day was dedicated to recognizing global mine action efforts, from clearing landmines and UXO to teaching people how to live safety in contaminated areas and assisting victims. In his message for the day, United Nations Secretary General Pan Ki-moon called for measures to involve more women at high levels in mine action. UN Resident Coordinator Min Pham said in Laos, female clearance teams were well known to be some of the best. He said teams of women were working to clear more land every day and some women held senior ordnance deminer positions. While progress has been seen, greater efforts must be made to ensure women are equally represented and hold important positions in the field. The vast majority of globally recorded casualties from landmines, cluster munitions and other remnants of war are civilians. Minister to the government's office, Bun Heung Dong Pajan, who is also chairman of the National Leading Committee for Rural Development and Poverty Eradication and the chairman of the National Regulatory Authority, NRA, said about 87 people had died or been injured in UXO-related accidents every year since 2009. Before 2009, the rate was 300 people per year. UXO has been destroyed on over 44,000 hectares of land since 1996. About 87,000 square kilometers may still be contaminated by various types of UXO. The area of land contaminated by cluster munitions is estimated at about 8,470 square kilometers based on bombing data records. Laos was bombarded by enemy aircraft during the Indochina War from 1964 to 1973. Over 2 million tons of ordnance was dropped, including about 288 million cluster munitions. Some 80 million unexploded bombs were left after the war finally ended. We can't just continue living our lives believing that landmines should be normal when they're not. It is disclosed that April 4th is always dedicated to raising public awareness about the problem of landmines and explosive remnants of war and the efforts to eliminate them and the UNDP is a major supporter of UXO clearance in the country. Join us! Thank you for joining us. Together, we'll make a difference.